What's going down everybody? Welcome back to Extreme Scale Performance. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman. You are now watching Axial Fest 2017, the movie. All right, you guys, before we jump into this movie, I just got a couple of things I want to run over. Don't worry, I'm not going to uh, get all emotional and do like a 10-minute speech like I did last year's video. However, I do got to I gotta shout out a few people and I got to touch on a couple things real quick. Um, first up, I just want to apologize for taking so long to get this out. I know a lot of people have been waiting on this, a lot of people invested in this, and a lot of people are just wanting to... Uh, Wanted to relive it, you know, it's just, it was, it's a really fun event. So, um, my apologies for that. Thank you guys for having patience with me. Um, it means a lot. So, second thing I want to do is say, uh, if you're new here, you know, this is, this is stereotypical, but if you're new here, please subscribe. Um, if you enjoy this, please like it. Uh, if you don't like it, please dislike it. It doesn't matter. I just, I want the feedback. It's all about, me getting criticism from you guys so I can improve in the future. So, um, last thing I want to say is a uh, big, big, big shout out to my sponsors, all of my sponsors. Um, it's a long list, so instead of shouting them out one at a time, I'm just going to, because I don't want to accidentally forget somebody, I'm going to leave a list. Um, uh, it might be in the video or it might be down in the uh, description. It will be in the description regardless, but um, there's links to every one of my sponsors, you guys, and uh, I highly suggest checking them out. There's reasons why I mess with these companies. I, I don't just do it for money or freebies or things like that. These are companies that I, I, I support anyways. Um, they're good people. Some of them are family ran companies. Uh, some of them are larger companies that, that have been doing this for a while and have really proven themselves. It, just check them out. They're really, really worth the time. So um, last but not least, there's a specific sponsor I want to shout out real quick. And that's Iron Rock Off-Road. Iron Rock Off-Road, thank you guys. If it wasn't for them, 
um, there's a good chance I probably wouldn't have made it to Axial Fest this year, and that's that's honest truth. Uh, I had some Jeep problems, and I, and I made a bad decision. I made a bad purchase, and uh, I I basically got ripped off. And I was looking at a very bad situation. Um, the Jeep that I had purchased was unsafe, and I didn't know what I was going to do. And Iron Rock Off Road came through in the clutch, and. Uh, I can't thank them enough, man. The Jeep is riding boss right now. In this video, it's still really janky um, because I, I, it was just a rush. You'll see. You'll see. So anyways, big thank you to them. Um, big thank you to Axial. Uh, big thank you to all of my sponsors, um, all of my subscribers, all of my, my friends and my family, my fans, everyone that just stood behind me and made this possible. This is my favorite time of year is to go to Axial Fest. So I'm going to stop talking now. I told you I wouldn't do it. Please, you guys, enjoy this video. Oh, and one last thing. This is more of a excuse than anything. I feel I could have done a better job. I was limited on my cameras, and I had one camera that could do super slow motion and 4K. However, it overheats all the time. That's the camera you see me on now. And uh, so I couldn't shoot very much with it, unfortunately wound up falling back to my two old cameras and they don't do as good of a job so it's just my apologies i feel i could have done better hopefully you guys still get the vibes off this you still feel it like uh like i do so anyways now i'll shut up thank you guys enjoy if you see yourself let me know where put the point in the video in the comments down below all right i'll shut up enjoy axial fest 2017 the movie yay It's woke come baby I'm actually heading to go look at a new Jeep. I might be getting rid of the old white cheap Jeep and uh, stepping my game up to a different Grand Cherokee. So yeah, found it on Craigslist. Wasn't even looking for it. Just so happened to be there at the right time, right place. Went and looked at it yesterday, talked to the guy. We kind of worked out a little deal and um, I'm gonna go drive it now and see if, uh, see if I feel like it's really worth the money or not. And if it is, I'm gonna pick it up and then I'm probably gonna put the white Jeep up for sale. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I sell a little white Jeep for probably a thousand bucks. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's uh, extreme scale performance. I got a few of them, but extreme scale performance is my main one. And it's, uh, it's all about RC cars. I, feel, oh, really? I build and film RC cars, yeah. And RC it's, cars. Now, yeah, it was right it's about totally this time right? that I probably should have just been paying attention to the Jeep and looking for flaws, and instead I got sidetracked. The guy started talking to me about my channel, and that's just a... Man, it's an easy way to get me talking. So, unfortunately, um, I, didn't, I didn't look the Jeep over as good as I should have. And uh, some of you may notice already it's raked towards the rear a little bit. Uh, it, the suspension was not set and correct. Uh, there wound up being a nightmare of problems with this thing. And, um, well, just watch, watch for yourself. So I went and drove that Jeep. Had some time to think about it. Um, I like it think I'm gonna do it I went down to a local mechanic here and uh, he's getting me a quote on getting a few things fixed um, the intake or the intake manifold I want to get a new one on it um, it needs a drop down pitman arm or like adjustable drag link or maybe both um, and it needs new rear wheel bearing so I want to do those things and then I also want to get the AC charged and then it should be good for Axial Fest as far as mechanics go. And then I also want to, uh, well I'm talking to a local company about getting a tent trailer um, to take down to Axial Fest as well. And then 
yeah that's really it man i mean i think it's pretty much good to go i'm gonna clean it up i'm gonna just like change out a few parts swap a few parts out um get it more to my liking and then uh maybe do a couple little paint things on it and sticker it up and then off to axial fest so hopefully it'll be good to go we'll find out we'll find out soon but this bad boy this bad boy might not be around much longer i think i'm gonna put her up for sale uh there's nothing wrong with it i actually like it it runs strong most of you guys have seen that it needs an exhaust but yeah i don't know now, as most of you guys know, the universe or something tends to give us signs when we just shouldn't do things. And this was one of those times. I couldn't find my keys for some reason, even though I had just had them. At this point, I was getting ready to go to the bank, get the money, and just head back and get the Jeep. I should have known better. Uh, but it just never clicked. I think you do, too. Well, oh, don't we have another one? It's just not the same size, huh? Yeah, I don't, and I only like this size. All right, you can see, just prove there's nothing wrong with this Jeep. She fires right up. Uh, I bet, I don't know which side is theirs. 30, 50 minutes, that's this one. nervous because I don't want it to be a failed mission. I don't want it to be like... A lemon? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I have a hard time that. trusting people, <laughs> you know? And he seems like a legit guy, though, you know? We sat and talked for a long time, but that's always the problem. They seem like a legit guy, and then they get one over on you. So, I'm nervous, like always. What's up, man? Well, you guys remember what I was saying about signs when you shouldn't do something, right? Forgot my money. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Forgot my money. I signed the title. Or didn't sign the title, I guess. Uh, but I signed the bill of sale and he gave me the title. Everything, he, his wife signed the title. He signed the title. Everything was all good. It was all there. And then there's no money in my pocket. What the hell? And my money's kind of exposed right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and get back to it. I went for it. I bought the Jeep, and I went and picked it up from him. And uh, I drove it around for a while, and it was all good. Drove it home. But it did feel a little wobbly, you know, but it's lifted. And I'm not familiar with driving a lifted Grand Cherokee, so I wasn't 100% sure what to expect as far as the feel went. But it definitely felt a little loose and the steering wheel was crooked from the lift you know and they never adjusted the track bar or whatever so um anyways long story short i got ripped off i parked it and the next day I came out and i started it to let it warm up and me and my wife were hanging out drinking a little coffee while the car was warming up and i finally you know we go to leave and i get in it and it is overheating like tacked out like the almost in the red already i was like oh come on dude pulled the uh check engine light removal scam he literally pulled the bulb out of the check engine light there's all kinds of stuff wrong with it bad egr valve uh it's missing sensors they tried to do an egr delete there's missing hoses vacuum lines all kinds of stuff was missing that clearly i'm not the mechanic i used to be or that i think i am so and then i take it to the alignment shop and they inform me that the entire lift kit is like too dangerous it's so shot that it's too dangerous to drive right and that they didn't even feel comfortable having me drive it out of there that's how bad of a decision i made a truly bad decision like it's nobody's fault but my own it's my own fault i didn't have the jeep checked out by a proper mechanic before i purchased it so it's nobody's fault but my own however the guy did purposely tried to rip me off he did rip me off he purposely ripped me off so not too happy anyways what i'm going to do now is try to take this box of lemons this dude gave me and turn it into some lemonade. Here she is. This is my new Jeep. This is a 1994 Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, also known as the ZJ. It's a limited edition, um, which means it's basically it's the 5.2 V8. It's uh, got a three and a half inch lift right now. 
The inside's actually all beat up and taken apart right now. Nothing's even, nothing's even bolted in. Um, just because I've been good, just digging through it, trying to find other things that could be wrong with it. Uh, but it does start and it runs pretty dang good, honestly, right now, but it does have some fuel issues, so. It's getting all new springs, all new shocks. The shocks that are in it right now are just horrible. Like, look at that. They're all beat, busted up. Um, leaking, I'm pretty sure. One side sits a little lower than the other side. Yeah, you can see there, this is just, it's not in the best shape. Not a fan, but it does have a nice set of General Grabber 31 inch tires. Uh, good looking tires, brand new. I mean, they've got a ton of tread left on them. I came with these wheels too, stamped wheels. I've been stamped steelies, I guess. I don't know what you call these. You guys let me know in the comments, obviously. I'm not the, this is all new to me, man. I've always wanted to build a Jeep, never been able to. I've started one in Hawaii and wasn't able to finish it. Um, it looks good, man. I dig it. I really dig it. I think it's cool. It's in pretty good shape. It's got the tow hitch. Back door opens nice and smooth. Interior's in decent shape. It's not perfect, but I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to pull some stuff uh, out of the other Jeep if I have to to put in here, or I'm going to uh, go to the junkyard and find stuff if I have to. And I just want to make it run good. I want to get a roof rack for it. Uh, I want to make sure that the engine runs solid. There's the engine. It's got a super dirty k and in intake system. Yeah, it's overheating because it doesn't have a fan shroud. That is uh, extremely important on a Grand Cherokee. A lot of people seem to think that taking it off is cool, like it's going to help it out, but it's extremely important to have a Grand Cherokee or to have a fan shroud on a Grand Cherokee. So. Gonna get a new fan shroud for it. Um, the guy's supposed to hit me up. He lives in the pine, which is pretty cool. And then it's got these little lights on it, these uh, little trail lights. I'm not sure how good they are yet. We'll find out. But yeah, that's it, man. It's Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this. This is one of the cooler parts. Let's get down here underneath of it. It also has an MP231 transfer case which is awesome. If you don't know, these Grand Cherokees come with the MP242 usually, and the MP242 is junk. It's, well, it's not junk. It's not bad for what it does. You know, it's good if you're leaving the Jeep stock and you're just gonna daily drive it and you're not really gonna rock crawl it or trail ride it or anything that hardcore, then it's fine. But an MP231 will switch it from all wheel drive to two wheel drive, and then it'll give it a four high and a four low as opposed to the MP242, which is just all, it's full-time four-wheel drive, and you've just got higher low options, basically. It also has a new drive shaft, which is awesome. And it has a Flowmaster 40 series muffler, which is also awesome. Uh, rear diff is all oily, leaky looking. I'm pretty sure it needs new bearings and sills, um, stuff like that. I, I know that the new wheel bearing, or this, wheel right here actually needs a new wheel bearing. I'm not sure if that would cause that to leak or not, but I'm pretty sure there's some sort of seal that's bad. Anyways, you guys, that's my project. It is officially sponsored by Iron Rock Off-Road. So you guys, if you're not familiar with them, check out Iron Rock Off-Road. Give them some love. Check out their Instagram. Uh, check out their Facebook. You know, just show them some love. Let them know that ESP sent you and just let them know that, uh, yeah, you're excited to see what comes of this build, you know? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be an ongoing thing. And I will also be uh, using this quite a bit for the Axial Fest movie. My goal is to drive to Axial Fest in this Jeep this year. And it has a muffler, so you guys don't have to worry about me waking everybody up in the middle of the night. Today, we're working on Project Struggles. One of you guys actually left a comment and recommended what did you recommend? Project uh, Troubles is what it was, and I liked that. And then that made me realize, oh, but I don't like, you know, I don't want, I don't want more troubles with it. So I don't want, you know, troubles to be like an ongoing theme here. <laughs> so I'm thinking struggles, you know, because the struggles lead to success. You know, it, struggles are good. You want to struggle. If you don't struggle, you don't, you don't appreciate. So struggles, Project Struggles. That's what we call in this one now. Yeah. We're gonna overland with this beast. So, I started calling around to some shops. Ooh, hot. 
I finally uh, found a shop. Basically, I need somebody to save me for myself. And uh, uh, you know what? Just bring it down, man. We're going to make it happen. And so Project Struggles over here is going to automotive specialties here in Bend, Oregon off of 9th Street. And uh, they're really, really nice people. The owner was very, very polite to me. Um, so that's, that's why I picked them. And so anyways, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, unbox some suspension today. I've got a whole bunch of suspension back here and I figure why not? Let's get into it, man. It's time. had the links in it that's both uppers and lowers adjustable links so I am super excited on that that means I'll be able to get my suspension dialed in just perfect man oh really excited it's a big deal for me look at that IRO yeah these things are like heavy duty man these make the rough country easy ride ones that i have uh yeah it's just not it's not a comparison this is where it's at for sure um i was gonna go with the budget setup first you guys and i mean i know obviously i, I have help with this but uh after getting these now i realize that even if i didn't have the help i would just go ahead and save the money to go for this anyways um, I might eventually even upgrade this to a long arm kit in the future. This is just, this is where it's at, man. These things are amazing. Oh yeah. Let's get these guys paid up. At this point, the Jeep was as ready as it was ever going to be. I had replaced the majority of the cooling system, replaced the fan shroud, replaced the fan clutch, replaced most of the sensors, checked on the catalytic converter, turns out there wasn't one, gone through the fuel system, I even had a Iron Rock premium three and a half inch lift kit installed and then had that followed up with an alignment. I don't think I could get it any more ready than I've got it at this point. Now it's time for me to trust my driving instinct, hit the road, and hope that we can make it safely. Let's do it, buddy. We're off to, we're off to Axial Fest. Let's go. <laughs> it is uh, Tuesday evening. We were supposed to be there Monday evening. I was supposed to leave here Monday morning. Um, that was the plan, and it did not work. This thing gave us all kinds of troubles, but I believe it is ready to go now. 
Um, there's still the potential that one part, possibly two, could be bad. So I bought some parts and brought some tools and uh, she's loaded up, ready to go. All the Iron Rock off-road suspension is installed. As you can see there, looking good. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty hyped. On the back, we have our trail bike loaded up, uh, cinched down. We've got the roof rack on top. All the gears packed up in the back, RC cars. And we got all our stickers on here too, repping. Just put those on today. Debo gets the whole back seat to himself. This time we got all the gear in the back, so it's gonna be a lot better this time for the dog. Come here, Debo. Debo, come here. You ready? Let's load up. Come on. Load up. All right, good boy. So let's do this. Oh, I am like hyped right now. Got our axial badges up here. Yeah. Debo's got a rocket. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, snap, Debs. We gotta grab some oil, too. Uh, just like a couple of quarts, just to make sure. Well, we're not gonna make it to him, this. Oh, okay. We're good. No, we're not. <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning we're just pulling in we drove all night but we're here I don't even have the axial fest signs up man 
That's, a, that's the first time we've been here before the event actually started, I think, right? Yeah. Or no, last year we got here a day early, I think. So anyways, we're here. Sorry we look like crap right now, but we made it. Go team ESP. <laughs> Deebs, how you doing, buddy? He's a, he's, yeah, he's got to go to the bathroom. All right, we are here. Nobody's at the thing. All vehicles stop at store, no exceptions, it says. All right, so we are after our room. We actually got a room this time, which is pretty cool. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. And I don't even know when we can actually get into the room because they're closed. What's it say? <laughs> That is funny. Look at this. One of the first things we see when we pull in. Axial Fest 2017 hasn't even started. They're putting that sign up. That's hilarious. Alright guys. It's time to unpack. I am so tired I can't even keep my eyes open. So we're just going to fast forward through this part. Good morning, everybody. All right, so it's Thursday morning. This is like the official start of Axial Fest for me. Today is the day I start filming. My boy Ben just showed up back there like, yeah. Yeah, everybody's still pulling in. Um, people are registering still today. Yesterday was the main registration day, but because I was so tired, I kind of took the day off just to sleep, mingle with people, um, go around and just kind of get acquainted with everybody, meet some new folks. Say what's up to all the subscribers and you know, just just kind of take a day for myself. And now I'm out here. I got the uh, Coleman trail bike out. We've got the Jeep right here loaded up. Um, all my camera gear is in there, and we're getting ready to head up right now to uh, film some registration, film some of the campsite, and uh, start taking my B-roll shots and everything. And yeah, here in a little bit, I'm gonna fix my Kaiser. I've got to install a. Uh, Trail, a trailer hitch, like a little ball hitch in the bed so I can tow a gooseneck trailer. And then uh, we're heading up to the concourse. So hopefully it's gonna be fun. I get a judge in the concourse today, which is gonna be something completely new. To, I've never done it before. Last year I won best to show on the concourse, which was unexpected. This year I get a judge in it, which is extremely unexpected. So I'm stoked, man. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna head up now and just kind of see what's going down. and. Hopefully, uh, there's gonna be a lot of people pulling in today. All right, you guys, let's do this. Oh, what's up, Mr. ESP? <laughs> All right, so you ready? You just gonna follow me up? All right, sounds good. What's up, brother? Hello. How you doing? Got you just pulling in? Yep. Say what's up to everybody, man. What's up, Axio? Yeah. That's what's up. I'll see you up there, brother. Let's get this thing fired up. How you doing, bro? Nice Hello, to meet you. How you doing? Good. You just pulling in too or what? Yeah, we just got here. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Jason. Josh, nice to meet you, man. You guys want to rep your people? Say what's up. Hello, the Alba Crawlers. This is Rockland, California. Gonna have some fun. Yeah. Axel Fast. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we just met some awesome subscribers and we are now heading up to uh, the pavilion area to check things out. Should be fun. We're gonna take a ride.
morning.
right, so we made it down here. Registration, Woo! driver check-in. Come say what's up to some folks. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I want to take a peek at all you guys' stuff, man. I like the pink one. Oh, it's purple. That's purple. That ain't pink. I'm looking on camera. Here. I like it. Awesome. You guys all checked in? Yep. yep. Just got checked in. How long is the process? Five minutes. About five minutes? Yeah, yeah. Not that long? You guys want to rep for anybody? Just a family ordeal? Yeah, in Ramrod Racing. Awesome, man. Awesome. Glad yeah. to see you guys out here. Josh. Matt. We watched nice to meet you, you on YouTube. So oh, do you? Uh, awesome. Yeah, I got to get the buggies. How you guys doing? Oh, bikes and buggies, man. Can't go wrong here. Can't bring everything. This looks cool. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good, how you? Not too bad, man. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Seen some of your YouTube stuff. What's your name? Terry. Terry, okay. Terry We're from uh, Boise. Okay, okay, okay. You guys up in my area, kind of Pacific yeah. Northwest. Yeah. yeah. I'm from Oregon. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeep made it. Made it, man. Barely, but she's here. Uh, I might break it before I go home. We'll see. <laughs> to get up in here and actually say what's up to everybody. How are you guys doing? Hi, how are you? What's up? Hey. Oh, yeah. Just starting. We're fresh. Just getting going, huh? Yeah. Everybody had coffee, right? Yeah. Yeah. Before the Camp was coming. What's going on, man? How are you doing, brother? Chris, man. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm uh, trying to stay out of people's way, but it doesn't oh. really happen. Here's your scorecard. Get into the details. And then here's your Oh, yeah. Well, look, you can get away from me. John, Yes, it is. And then you need to go down to the chapel. All right, John. All right. You might want to double check so you can read that. Got to tell you about tech. It's down down the hill. You know, you take your car. Oh, Charlie. Uh, uh, that's name Wolf. Uh, What's up, dog? Oh, look. How you doing, bro? All right, I'm gonna go get the other camera. Put this one back. I'll be right back. All right, so registration's going down. I gotta get some uh, some uh, scenic shots, I guess. We'll get some shots of the other camera. I don't know what you want to call them, some glam shots or something like that, but. It's cool, man. I love meeting everybody out here. Every time I meet subscribers, it's like the best thing ever. And this is the people that allow this to happen for me. If it wasn't for the subscribers, I, you know, I don't know if I'd be able to even come here. It, I definitely wouldn't have the situation that I have. So to everybody that watches this, thank you guys so much because it's you guys that makes this possible. I went to the wrong side of the Jeep. <laughs> All right, so camera time. I think what we're gonna do is, I uh, just lost focus here. We're gonna go for, some slow motion. Yeah. Bust out the gimbal with the A6300 and the kit lens.
you guys so here's what's going on we're actually back in the motel room which I didn't even tell you this time we're actually glamping we're not camping we're uh, we're in the room because Panami's pregnant we want to we want to keep her like comfortable this year so <sighs> she's gonna take Debo for a walk right now I've got about 15 minutes or so to uh, get up to the concourse so I can start judging I'm supposed to be up there around uh, what, two o'clock so and it's like 140 something now so I need to hurry um, basically I have the Kaiser here and I need to put some stiffer foams in the back tires real quick so I'm gonna see if I can do that really fast like and uh, hopefully it'll work all right so here's what's going down it is actually like 205 right now so that means I'm five minutes late I got to get up to the concourse because I'm judging hopefully they're running behind too because we were running behind. Thank you very much, Panabi. Panabi just got me some bread to snack on because I still haven't ate anything. I am, uh, all right, we're going for it. I am dying of hunger right now. I got a headache, but I got to get this stuff done and I'm filming and, and doing all kinds of other things too. So it's kind of fun, but at the same time, it's kind of taxing. So look, got the Kaiser all done up. I'm taking it up there. I was going to try to put some foams in real quick and I realized I wasn't going to make it. So instead of attempting to do that, I am uh, just going to go ahead and charge it how it is, man. And yeah, oh, it was Jason from CKRC actually hooked me up with some foam, some crawler innovation foams to throw in there real quick, but there's just no way to get them in in time. So uh, bummer on that. But anyways, Still gonna make a showing. I wanted it's not that I'm competing or anything. I just wanted to oh, put my builds on display. That's what uh Rodney Rodney wanted me to put my builds on display, so that's why I'm trying to get it ready to bring up there. So on the way right now, they're probably wondering where I'm at. I'm late as usual. It's the name Coleman, always camping man. <laughs> So we're officially down here at the concourse. Let me fix that. Where they're like doing some judging. <laughs> they're doing some judging. As you can see, trucks lined up everywhere. I'm late as usual. All kinds of different classes this year. This is sick. Yeah, monster trucks. We need more monster trucks for sure though. Are we doing some live stream over there? This is Axial Live right here. Axial Live stream. What's up, everybody? If you're watching at home, say thank you to Revis for doing this. But you should be here. You should be here. Definitely should be here. The videos are not going to do it justice. No matter who shoots it, it's just not going to do it justice. So definitely get down here next year. But where can they find the movie? The movie's going to be on the Extreme Scope Performance YouTube channel. Probably going to be a long one, so definitely, you know, get some popcorn and all that. It'll be out, it'll take me a month or so to edit this one. So, hey, it'll be out there. And I'll be sure to post the links on the Axial stuff for you guys, too. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. All right, so, Revis doing the live stream, holding it down. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I'm good. How you doing, brother? All right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to walk you guys through these and give you a good look at them real quick, and then... Uh, We'll get some good shots later, but this is just going to be real quick style. <laughs> Camera's dirty. <laughs> hey, bear with me, you guys, because it's really loud in here. There's a lot of things going on. There's speakers in the background, people talking, judges looking over trucks. And some of these trucks are actually sitting here idling because they're trying to show off every little detail. So lights are on on a lot of these. All the owners are standing around watching just to see what the judges are going to do. It's pretty intense, honestly, for some of these guys. But at the same time, it's a lot of fun. Everybody's lighthearted. So I don't know. I, I Honestly, I kind of wish that I was entering in and participating instead of just watching from this end. So. Anyways, let's get into this. This one's pretty cool. I've seen this one before. This one's Danny. He's skin the body on that and everything.
What's your name? Henry? Nice to meet you. Josh. You got a truck out here? Which one? All right, man. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Who said that? Thank you. I appreciate that, man. That was some time to come up with that. <laughs> yes. man, it wouldn't be anything without you guys. All it is, you guys, man. It ain't really me doing nothing. Yeah, actually, we, uh, I submitted the world so he's driving. Okay. It hasn't been on yet, has it? No. I was going to say, I don't remember. I haven't missed any episodes. So. All right. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, Lynn Roots. Lynn Roots Dodge. This is a good one right here. Oh, oh, yeah, Lynn. Should be out here with them, so but you're not. So, so what? Oh wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> that guy. Okay. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So the judging's still going down. It's an ongoing process. These guys are seriously intense with the judging. They're like flipping over trucks. They're getting oh look at this. Look at. This. <laughs> we got we got guys back here crashing the party. So basically. They're looking at every detail, man. They're looking at your interiors. They're looking at your exterior detail. They're looking at the drivetrain. They want to know what kind of weathering you've done, what kind of aging, if any, what kind of uh, car teams did you build things by yourself? How unique is it? They want to know if it's something that's been done before. I mean, what kind of products did you use? What kind of materials? It is crazy what they're looking for. And just to show you what I'm talking about, look at this. Look at that. Basically, no matter what you build, there's going to be a class to put you in. You could build race trucks, you could build, you know, rock crawlers, you could build rock bouncers, you could build trail rigs, adventure rigs, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just better build it right because these guys are seriously getting good. Basically, if I would have entered in my truck from last year, which won Best of Show, which is a really, really big deal, I might not have even gotten noticed this year. That's how good these builds are. I mean, the, the level, the bar has been pushed up quite a bit. So anyways, you guys, I hope you're enjoying this. I am super stoked on this. I love seeing the, just the creativity, just seeing how, how people put their heart and soul into these little trucks and it actually shows. I mean, look at these guys. Uh, right now, you got parts moving around. 
lights flashing. I mean, just a ton of hand-built stuff. I've seen a lot of hand-built stuff. The judges are really, really good this year. You got several of us YouTubers on here. Um, you've got Scale Builders Guild. Matthew's in the building. He's holding it down. I mean, he's one of the best judges out there. He's seen it all. So there's a lot of good guys on here that really know what they're doing. And uh, I'm just kind of honored to be involved. It's pretty intense. All right, you guys, let's take a look at some more of these. All right, so we just had a revelation here. Things have changed. The raisin class has actually been split up, and I just went dark. There we go. The raisin class has actually been split up now um, because a lot of these aren't technically raisins. You know, they, they're working class trucks. So uh, what they're doing is they're going to actually split this up, and this is going to be a new class that will be basically ran this year, but also introduced next year. So kind of interesting. I'm curious to see how this turns out. All right, you guys. So now we're. I'm not really sure what we're doing, but we're, we got some pretty sick trucks lined up over here. And I'm trying to live stream it at the same time on Instagram, so. Thumbs up for multitasking, huh? Awesome. Lynn did a really great job. Lynn is an animal. There you go, built there. Yeah, look, you guys like that? How I can show you yourself there instead? It's totally backwards. At the literate, drum roll. Oh, wait. You get the official registration and the serial number and the paperwork matched his actual full size paperwork. That's what it got down to last year. So you guys have stepped up your game this year. Um, there's a lot of details on all of these trucks that I'm definitely stealing for my next build. You guys did a fantastic job, all of you, but we had to choose one winner. Another one winner. Clap. One winner. Steal. Ready, Josh? Do it. Let's do it. Congratulations. Oh. This, welcome to being professional. You gotta hold this on top of your rig. You can actually tuck this down. Yeah, where we can read it. Yeah, this, this goes like that. And you get to tuck this in the back like that. And you need to step one. And then step. you get to step forward here. And then you go like piling behind him here. Get in there, Liam. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so they just announced the winner back here. You guys style Broncos. Um, just want to thank everybody out there that's doing uh, all the scale stuff. I love it. Um, a lot of different parts in here. And all this, this, I've been about two years on it and thanks to my wife for putting up with all the garbage and letting me in the basement for so long. So, thank that's, you. That's awesome man. Thank you. Hey let me get a close up on here just for everybody out there right now so you can see. This is what a winner looks like right here. You guys look at that. Look at that. All the way through, man. It's not just one area. It's a lot of detail all the way through this bad boy. All underneath. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. What I like to see, that is a proper build. There's a lot of stuff done to that that you just wouldn't even notice unless you were looking for it. And uh, I, I gotta say, he deserves the win on that one. It is a real tough call, and I'm sure that the judges really struggled with it. I struggled with it, but I think he deserves the win. Uh, if there was a tie, I'd probably have to put it with uh, Lynn Root. I really like Lynn Root's power wagon, because I know that he drives it a lot as well. I just know he flies helicopters. Lynn is from Oregon. Oh, I was going to say Peru. <laughs> he, he is a fellow Oregonian. He's from my neck of the woods. <laughs> right? Joey Allen? Oh. Joey Allen. Joey Allen, you are requested immediately to the prison. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. Who's going to win? That's the real question. <laughs> Who's going to win? That is the question, isn't it? Is this going to win? Oh, RC Fest is repping hard today, man. I might have the fastest. Really? We got fastest. <laughs> oh, we got a race. I feel a race coming. Just one of you. I would go over a winner. One of you people. One of you people over a winner. My wish is 550. 
I don't know who it is either. I don't know. It could be you. Could be you. I don't know. Is it going to be the snowman? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, some secret stuff uh -oh. going on with the judges. Some secret off. judge stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <You're alive. laughs> hey, 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 Josh, 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 Josh. Josh. <laughs> who's, who's the winner? So, so the winner is. I don't know. <laughs> Ryan, I think it's the second. I'm gonna say the Morris kid. What's that? I'm gonna say number three. I'm thinking number three. Yeah. That's, that's cool. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the one I'm thinking. anybody but the kid. That way we crush the core kids for a dream. Did you guys hear this? I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Let's get it. Alright. Alright, you guys are trying to figure out who we're going to get this one to. Nobody knows who guys behind us. Oh, we know the winner now. We know the winner. They're waiting, but I think we just figured it out. You built a course. So you didn't beat it with a hammer, you beat it with a course. Okay. Alright, everybody I don't know. This is your class. You need the the rain. There's a whole lot of damage on this one too. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, Let's get another good look here. We've got damage everywhere. Hey, look. I'm thinking. Just for you guys, it's a raisin. Yeah. Chevy power right there, ESP. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking the bow tie. This is rough, man. This is rough. Josh, look at the raisin. Look at the, look at the raisin. I'm finishing it in, and then it's it's a raisin. There we go. Which one? Which one? I know what it is. I know what it is.
front and rear, 16 scale Revo shocks in the back. This is a uh, Tamiya Wrangler body. I cut six inches out of it. I added the fenders and the steps. And the diamond plate had to build a custom interior for it because you can't get those parts anymore. So custom seats. It's got axles here and wheel, Wraith shifters. It actually has a Canadian military pan uh, maintenance manual inside of it. Custom made the winch. It has scale chain. Um, it is a working winch off the remote. It's a, the cage is fully custom back here. It is extendable manually, um, both in height and in length. Um, full size spare tire. We're carrying a billion dollars in gold to make the theme. Yeah. On this side of the truck, we have a working gas tank. This is the smoke generator, which puffs smoke out of the stack. Um, it's a fog juice based system. It runs on a separate speed controller and a separate uh, receiver. Um, and it also has a feature of forward tilting cap. Awesome! And it's weathered all the way through, top to bottom. And you can see it was in, it was quite the feat to get the electronics in this device. Yeah, man. But well done. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. Now the big question is, am I going to see this on Scale Wars soon? <laughs> I think he just exceeded this. Yes. <laughs> exceeded. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. All right, guys, concourse is done. It's empty back there. I'm beat, man. That was a really, really fun event. Um, now I'm gonna go, I think, relax for a little bit and then go film some trucks. Ooh, struggling to tow it, look at it. I'm trying to tow this bad boy. It's struggling. It is struggling, let's see. Never. That's a Kyver right there. It's not even supposed to be towing this. It'll still get it. Your first time? Okay, okay. Your second time. All right, that's what's up. Rep where you from, that's up. Fallon, Nevada. All right, you guys. Have fun. You too. What's up, guys? What's up, man? You killing it or what? How's the new lift doing? It's doing good. The lift's great. The engine, not so much. Right on. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. Made it. That's all that matters. Hell yeah. What's up, bro? What's up, Go. Yeah. How you guys doing? Riding the holiday show. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All the way from New Orleans, baby. Yeah. People are crazy out here, man. People are crazy. Definitely loving the fact that so many people are here from so many different places. I mean, it's, it's an eye-opener to how big this community is. All right, so now we're heading up to film some monster trucks. I just ate some food. Hopefully it's not all up in my grill right now. I, uh, I haven't really had much time to rest today, so I'm running on empty. The wife hung out through the whole concourse. She's running on empty. It's, it's definitely a, a, hard, a hard day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's get ran over. Oh, it's beautiful right now. some monster truck action going down out here everybody's just hanging out out here it looks like they're doing some racing I'm curious to see how this is gonna go right over all right drivers ready draw my toe Boop. into the corner oh cut in the corner oh. that was a really good race with broken <laughs> All right. That was good. <laughs> Stop is so is that good? Yeah. I versus Jim. Yeah. ESP. How you guys doing? What's up? Yeah. Woo! Some monster truck audience over here. Oh, we got the little ones All up front, right. front row seat. Kai's yeah. going to be over here in the orange Toyota. 
Yeah. It's your birthday? Yep. How old are you? Seven. Seven years old? What's your name? Addison. Addison, happy birthday, Addison. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you guys having fun? Yeah. All right. Zip tie that, the zip tie that together, I'll still wait. Free freestyle, it ain't my ride. Take home a big box. You having fun? <laughs> All right, you guys ready? On my feet. All right. <laughs> oh, the toilet's getting out of there. Oh, look at Oh, senior. Dang. Man. Age, better with age. Every time he goes, he gets better. Viewing photos like a boss. Moses. Moses. Oh, dude. Come on up, baby. All right, see, you get to run the little guy. He's getting worried about Yeah, be nice. Come on. Moses, you ready? Moses. Moses. Pose. What's up, buddy? Are you ready? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, you have fun? A main shirt. In front have of the fun and ask you first. He's got the... Awesome. Can I see Orange? Yeah. Yes. All right. Orange backpack. You ready, Moses? Okay. Okay. Okay, so be on my beep, okay? All right, you ready? Do you look down there? All right, you ready? Oh, Moses, get some! Whoa, Moses! Oh, go, go! <laughs> hey, oh, yeah! All right. Woo! Woo! Is this our driver here? Yeah. Go, Moe's, go! Go, Moe's, go! Yeah, buddy! Get some! Get some! Woo! Backflip! Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh! Doing the, doing the break dance! Woo! Who's got some disco music? Yeah! <laughs> Go, hit the jump. Yeah. All right. Pose, pose. Pose, come here. Come here. Give me some knuckles, man. Give me some knuckles. Boom, boom. Yeah. Man, with all our friends, like one big family. All right, you guys ready down there? On my beat. Boop. Oh, man. Oh, Aaron, Aaron, getting some. Oh, they're on each other. Oh, yeah. the senior out. Man, that was a good race. All right, man, this is fun stuff. What's up, buddy? 2 yeah. style. We gotta thank Axel for the appreciation uh, of this event for all us people. Uh, second of all, CKRC, Dean and Jason, if it wasn't for them, we would be really worn out. I mean, also, I wanna thank uh, a great family, SBC. Uh, we're like one big family. We like to do stuff, hang out. So, yeah, it's awesome. All right, who's ready? Yeah, all right, let's get it on. All right, all the drivers ready? I'm on beat. Beep. Oh, Megan's squirrely. Oh, Chris Gallant. Oh, Dave, get some. Woo! So, Chris, oh, all right. Man, we got two pretty trucks up here. We still have really no broken. Well, Tori did a show. No other road for it, and I did a show. All right, on my beep. Beep! Get some. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, no. Oh, what was that? Was it a jump? <laughs> yeah, jump that thing, Adam. Got the rock. Got the rock. Oh, oh. All right, who's up? Who's up, man? Isaac, SBC. Come back. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, they're angry. Look at that rivalry. Ready, buddy? Ready, guys? All right, on my beat. Oh, dang. Oh, 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 dang. Look at this. Oh! Woo! Isaac pulls off the win. Wow! Adam, are 
Alright, guys. Alright, you guys ready for another show? Alright. Alright, we got the Grand Theater versus Max Destruction. Alright, don't let out so fast. You don't need a seat, you just stand or some of excitement. Look at this! Alright, drivers, on my boot! Piss up! Yeah! Oh, man! his body out the front. You don't like that thing. Come on, guys. You have All right, fun? guys, are you ready? Yeah. All right, all my beef. Boop! Oh, the Guardian takes it. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Vance from Proline Racing. This is Gerardo's car. Thank you so much for the new car. <laughs> it's right, all right. Yeah. 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 car, yeah. It might need a new wrap, but yeah. it's all good. <laughs> Money. All right. Oh! 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 Look at this little one, rocking her truck. Cindy! Yeah. Woo. All right. Yeah. What's up, guys? What up? Killing it. All right, you guys. It's early morning right now. Uh, it's just about eight o'clock, and the uh, ultra enduro is about to start. Well, it's probably starting right now. I'm on my way up there to film it, see what I can catch. I wasn't sure if I was going to wake up this early or not. I didn't go to bed until like 1 o'clock last night. So, on the way up, I'm off the scooter. I got the camera on the back. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can get up there in time. Looks like they got all the drivers lined up, ready to go. Got the uh, big ultra banner up here, man. This stuff is serious this morning. A lot of people up. Let's go take a walk through here and see what we can see. Cameraman doing work early. <laughs> We got Sean rocking the American flag here. Camera guys, is yeah, ready. You, yeah, you, you just tell me where I'm at. You right here. It's a good thing about being the videographer. The good thing about being the videographer, at least the YouTube style videographer, is I don't have to worry about all the formal stuff, man. I can just kind of do my thing. Look at these guys. Just wave it. They're doing work. Yeah, buddy. Alright, I got it. Thank you. You have some, uh, you have some incredible work. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're, you're local right here. Yeah, yeah, let's help. Like, and I'm going to have you on one side. Yeah, you're going to see everything. Woo!
I dropped Jolly Too fat for that stuff. Is that, is that what it is? I'll probably wreck. I'll even turn my lights on. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Joshua! Morning. Yeah. It's a nice Dude, I ain't even going to do it. I'll blow my knee out before I even get my ankle to my ass. Woo! Woo! All right, gentlemen. Get ready. How you doing this morning, bro? Good morning, everybody. You're holding it down? Oh, man, it's, it's, it's ready. You getting media, a good shot? Media crew is on point today. Yeah, we early ready. morning stuff. Huh? Early morning. Yeah. We're still wiping the, the stuff out of our eyes this morning, yeah. but it's ready to go, 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 go.
Get it, bro. You in the clear now. Jake's right up around the corner. All right, you guys, we're out here mid-course at the Ultra Enduro. These guys are doing work. I'm actually standing in the course, which I shouldn't be doing, but gotta give you guys that perspective, man. Hey, you want to get a workout? MRB doing. Come do the Ultra. You doing work. Right Look at that sweat. Woo! That's real. Woo! Getting it in. How many laps you at? This two. This two? All right. Doing good, brother. I've only seen a couple people on lap three so far. Yeah, getting it in. I'm out here with the prettier half of CKRC. The uh, not so pretty half is right up there. You can see him. <laughs> oh, and we got we got a uh, Matthew doing work. Got the skill builder driving a bomber. Skill builders guild in the building. Skill bombers. The build. skill bomber build coming through. Woo! Good work, brother. Go for it, man. Woo! Oh, man. What's up, brother? Mr. Captain Ultra Grand Viceroy Supreme Commander E.A. Holy e. cow! I don't even know about all that. Where is he? I haven't seen him. Dropped him early. After that, I don't know. Man. Axial base. Yep. Check out Han Solo holding Indiana Jones's golden idol. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, SBC action. Yeah, Chris sponsors everything for me. Nice. <laughs> He'll be here in a few minutes to run with me. Yeah, Chris is a good guy. I like this one, man. That one's got a billy goat because it's supposed to be a little white trash. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. I see you did a little hood pin delete, a little yeah. body, body pose delete. Yeah. Smart maneuver. They all, all the wheels are CNC Customs, every one of them. Nice, dude. I don't even think I've heard of CNC Customs. I like the deep dish. Thanks. I got deep dish on this one here, too. Yeah, yeah, the deep dish look is good. Nice, man. Yeah, those look good. The hubs in them. Oh yeah. I like all the swampers too. Good choice. Thanks. 
I'm you look like a little kid. Like you look like a little kid. I did two laps. Boom. I want to get on a trail. Let's take these guys. Good effort. Look at that. Mud on the it's face. Dude, I was like spraying. All in the face. I was spraying everybody behind me like this. <laughs> 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 We've been tech inspected. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, buddy. One nine coming through. One nine coming through. Final lap? Uh, I think so. All right. Not too bad, are you? Oh, yeah. No open that garbage can, though. I didn't, I didn't do it. Nice, the lights are functional, I see, too. Yeah, yeah, you took up a. Uh, That's a cool. Nice and bright. That is cool. Oh, the window. I didn't see the window. And then actually, the Napa sign lights up in here. Are you serious? So, who built this? Um, uh, Brett. Or, uh, Brent, Brent, big, tall dude, huge, huge, tall dude. Okay. From uh, NorCal Crawlers. Okay, did the NorCal guys? He's like tree size. The NorCal Super. guys are like on a whole nother level. Yeah, man, dude, they brought this down to the by the fire event, which you've got to make it out to next year, by the way. So what's up, to everybody? Give them your names. I'm Kaden and I'm Tyler. Awesome, man. These guys are down here at Axial Fest cruising. I just bumped into them at the Proline booth. Hanging out down here. What are you guys doing now? Just getting water, right? Yeah. And get some water. You guys stay hydrated out here. It's really warm. It's really warm. These guys look like they've been out tearing up trails all day. We're, yeah. We were doing C and um. Now we're just doing. We did C. We did. Now we're doing G. We did D. We did. What? You already did that many? Yeah. We've only done four. That's a lot of courses already, though. That's a lot of driving. Did you break anything? Oh, yeah. Gonna before all. You're gonna do them all? Yeah. Man, that's a challenge. That Pro, is a challenge. Proline so far is the hardest. Yeah, yeah. Proline and CKRC. Those are the two hardest so far? Man, I gotta get out there and try them. You, you have the same lanyard as my dad. Do I? Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's from two chains. And my uncle and my um, grandpa. They all got this? Yeah. Oh, I hit a button. Let's back out of that. Alright. So what kind of rigs do you guys have? Uh, we have a Chevy and we have three Jeeps. The Chevy and I like the Jeep idea. I like the Jeep no, idea. No, we, we actually got a Ford. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you guys got a little collection going on. We, we only have two Jeeps. Meant, two Jeeps. I meant to say two. Okay, okay. Well, two's better and than one. And they're all 10 scales. They're all 10 scales? SEX 10s? Yeah. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you guys. I appreciate that. Where are you from? I can't do it. I'm from, I'm from two states. I'm, I was born in California, I was born here, and born in um, Nevada, and I'm living in California. Okay, okay, so you're just traveling, man, huh? Yeah. All right. I, I was born in Reno, and I live in Reno. Okay, all right, so that's the, home, that's the hometown, huh? Reno's a pretty nice spot, I like it there. Well, it was nice to meet you guys. I appreciate it. Have fun. All right, we'll let you hopefully get out of here. That's a 4X only, yeah. Nobody saw that! <laughs> <laughs> so you take us through the pop okay. Just in terms of the details of your rig. Well, I, uh, I started out buying a, a China body Jeep. That's a TJ body. And I took uh, the uh, Axial 10.2 chassis, modified all my stuff to fit together because the Axial car right out of the box really super good platform to start with. 
Uh, then I went on to building my own roll cage for it. I got into putting pit bull tires on it. They're a one-to-one -one company who makes scale tires for the world. I tried to make the car look as real as the cheap as I could get it to look. From a scaler perspective, if you're getting into the sport and you want to buy something that's like, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, but it works really extremely good out of the box, the Axial 10.2 works. But for guys like us who want something even farther than that, that's what we start What's going on, on y'all? We out here at Axial Fest 2017. I'm running my man Camp and Coleman out here. Y'all have to come out here next year for, for the Axial Fest 2018. It's always the second week in July. And man, listen, this is my first year. I brought my partner out here from New Orleans with me. And guess what? It is amazing. If you miss it next year, just you burn all your up. RCs. Burn your RCs if you're not actually. Yeah, you don't deserve year. them. Just burn them. You're turning all yeah, them screws for nothing. I and you're not going to come take, take a chance and burn it up or blow it up or drown it. Come yeah. out here, man. Get out here, I'm man. All y'all stay at home messed up. You I'm, messed up. I'm representing Team 0017 Racing all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana. We're in Cincinnati. And trust me, we'll be all the way back out here next year. We're bringing the team, baby. I said, who you yeah. can't with, baby? Who you camping with? Who you camping with? Who you camping with? Yeah! yeah. Oh, man, that's what we doing. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's yeah. up. Do it right there. Yeah. Pam! Pam. Pam. <laughs> wow, look at this. With the flowers in the hair. It was gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Can I get some knuckles? Get that out of there. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Get that out of there. No. What's good, bro? Pam. Boom. All that. All that. You guys having fun today? Absolutely. Yeah. So how's the booth holding up? Busy. Yeah? You guys right seeing now, a lot of the people? Video, the video's making it look slow, but we've been swamped. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like you guys are just lounging right yeah. now. We got, <laughs> we got the shade. We're taking advantage of it right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a heavy yeah. over. Cool. Thank you very much. Do I go this way? Thank you. Back up. Wait, are you? Oh, it's easy. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, you want me to get it? You guys from out of state? Oh. What? Thank you. I want to try now. <laughs> okay, Congratulations. Get <laughs> some knuckles right there. All right. Is there one that says knuckle sandwich? Ooh, we're going. We're getting yeah. you a $10 gift card. Yeah. There you go. It's good for anything on AMA. Josh, what's up? What's up, guys? Yes, How you doing? Hey, dude. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting, waiting to meet you. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. This is where you find me. <laughs> let, me, let, me get, let me get a shot with you guys. Yeah, for sure. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Today we tried to hit a G, and my B lock was in. Sure, for big boys. What size are you looking for? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna wear it here? These guys' right? shirts are pretty slick, man. Alright, you guys, so we're out here in front of the store now, and they're getting ready to start the parade here for Axial Fest 2017. I'm hanging out with the fam, and I got my little Kaiser. And I figured I'd join them. I was gonna do some drone action, but we got two guys with drones up already. I don't think the we need a third one up. That's too much air traffic. So I'm doing some ground level stuff. We're gonna come hang out with everybody and see what's really good down here. So 
What's up, Nick? It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. It's a Jeep. It's a Jeep. Jeeps are good. What about what, what about what about that one? That one is Jeep too. Oh, it's a Jeep too. No, it's Jeep too. They're all Jeeps, huh? That's what I tell them. They don't listen to me though. everybody Saturday this is the final day of Axial Fest 2017 and uh, I'm just getting going it's beautiful out here the rock racing is starting right about now um, however I've got to run to the next campsite over and pick up my sister-in-law and so we're probably gonna miss the start but it's all good it's gonna run for a couple of hours and then we'll get some awesome action shots show you guys what's all about uh, then I'm gonna go around and interview people I want to go around and kind of show you guys just the collection of people that are here and uh, the vendors, the sites, all that stuff, and just kind of give you an idea of what it's really like down here. Even on the last day, how much fun it can be down here. So, uh, I'm beat, it's been a long week, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying this. I've been having a lot of fun. I still haven't got to drive though, hardly at all, which is kind of sad. Uh, it seems like I never really get to drive at this event, and it's like the one event I wish I could drive at, so. 
Yeah. Anyways, let's go have some fun. Let's do this. All right, you guys, we made it down here to the rock racing. This is uh, pretty sick, man. It's already going strong. Lots of people down here watching. I'm losing my voice already, so I'm sorry if I sound a little funky. I took the trail bike down here. And it's looking pretty good. Of course, it's looking good so far. All right, so I uh, got the gimbal. That's six three hundred. Let's go ahead and get some shots.
perfect shot with the method race wheel sign and the method race wheels. Here we go. You know what? The government only hires the best drivers. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Right. What you Hey, there, check out his bike. What are we working on here? That's the problem. Sway bar? Sway bar. What are you guys repping for, man? Mountain Goat RC. Mountain Goat RC. RC! All right, that's what I'm talking about. Where'd you guys come from? All over, Auburn, Colfax. You guys are like just the mixed squad, huh? Send it. Woo -hoo. That was scary, actually. I was watching it here. Thought it was gonna hit me. Yeah. <laughs> it hit <and> just boom. <laughs> There's little one five tires on there too, dude. They look good. I saw it yesterday, I was digging it. We did the small tires this year, right? Just a moment. Yeah, that looks good.
You have fun? All right, man. Keep driving. Uh, go ahead. I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> you gonna drive her through? Check it out. Nice, shit. Yeah. Been good. I'm talking about see upside down. It just keeps debris out and Yeah, the battery box and everything is just yeah. I mean the nice thing was, you know, we since we did the full design is done, I can throw in and do yeah. any of the free yeah. Yeah. parts yeah, it starts that I want. Exactly. Yeah. It all just what? dropped right in. We we milled our panels. So that's a metal panel too? Aluminum. I didn't know you guys did the panels. We did the panels all. Not this one, we cut this out of sheet metal, but the side panels are milled. And the hood was milled, the grill was milled. You serious? Yeah. So, yep, it's uh. That's badass. I like man. the F9. I've never seen a little F9. Yeah, awesome. motors are in there, electric servos. Saw so there. The fan, the ESC the fan ground, in the radiator. Do whatever you want. Yeah, it's a 40 millimeter computer fan. Yeah. Um, We're letting everyone and, uh, pull pictures out. So. so what do, you th do you see any noticeable difference? I know that the ESC fans kicked on. So. So worthwhile trade off as far as yeah. So a lot of good looking parts. Sausage frame was silver coated. I, I, oh. RC collar. I said it's a Oh, is this yeah. a personal? You know, it's, yeah. it's one of those things when it's you look. Yeah, I don't run into that. Yeah. Take side I take mostly side roads on my way to work. Yeah. I don't leave work till after yeah. traffic's gone. Was, I don't get uh, to work till after rush hour's over anyway. So in Colorado <laughs> a while back. You're out of the county. Yeah. And Did you guys talk about I was going down. Okay. Everything's looking like that out here. Yeah. It's good. Oh, this one's got a smiley face on it. Oh, did somebody do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys having fun or what? Yeah, it's a good time. Do pretty good? Yeah, we had a lot of traffic here. That's the whole goal. Yeah, so that's... Checking out our product and, you know... That's good, man. What was your name? It's Richard. Richard? Yeah. Did I meet you last year? You may have. I was here last year for you sure. You were, huh? I think yeah. I might have met you just briefly last yeah, I year. Yeah, I just started working here last year. Okay, yeah. okay. What's up, brother? Where's G-Star? G. So do you do YouTube videos or something like that, or yeah, or what? Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, I run Extreme Scale Performance. Mm -hmm. It's ESP. All right. Okay. Is it cash only? Uh, this is Stargate Food Ow! Truck. We're up here for the weekend, crushing it with these guys. Everybody's having an awesome time. We're super stoked to be here. Can awesome. we get some great pizza and sushi? Axial Fest 2017. It rocks.
good, man. Not bad at all. Nicely done, bro. Little king shots. No, I didn't see those yet. Old ones. I was going to enter that scale builders thing, and I didn't make it in time to realize that oh, I should have entered it. <laughs> oh, you can. It's ongoing, man. Oh, is it still going? Okay. Well, it's an ongoing thing. Who, who you represent? Yeah, that's what I'm talking. I caught you with food in your mouth. <laughs> some, yeah. some tired Wash drivers yeah. over here. Washing in. Yeah. You guys breaking stuff? That was not what I was expecting to see. Slick. Yeah. Slick. Burn rubber? Can I get a yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like a little radar went off, huh? <laughs> no, you're good. Just hold on to it right there. The shower is like my favorite part of the What? Here, let's get your shower. Major famous. Let's just cool again. Oh, you're good. It's all close up. Hey, he said he was going to give it to me. You, you should have entered that in the yeah. no, I got to be. Get a picture. You're going to be up there, right? Yeah. I need you there. Give me a picture of the passenger. I don't know. I don't want to see. He's holding a dynamite. Oh, I'm calling you out first. <laughs> oh, if you don't want to be called out, you don't need to say anything. No, if, if you are going, so I need to be sure of what's up. Nice. 530. What's up, Joshua? Well, hello. Hello. How you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm beat. My brother's doing this interview, so you need to save a little gas in the tank. Holy metal jacket, like a full metal jacket. JK. When it was really hot today, I could with this shirt. Got a little dusty there. That's all right. Everybody keeps saying that. It doesn't show. Still feels good to me. If I was shooting 4K, you, it would be showing, though. No, isn't that 3D printed? Table. Yep. All this stuff is 3D printed, correct? Yes. Everything in white is 3D printed. Silver stuff is metal. So we have our metal bumpers. I'd like to show everyone these. Yes. Go ahead and tell me about it. So Judd built this for us. It's the Proline Raptor body with a Night Customs Mac Gloss Black Tau Night Customs body. It fully VP'd it out in the back. Twin radiator mount. Aluminium up front. Method race wheels. And, uh, the Hyrax, thank you. 2.2s, VP uh, knuckles, pro line, the big ball shocks. And you're going to tell me about the giveaway. So for five bucks, you can win this rig, and for another five bucks, you can win the JK. So down there, the axial green themed uh, uh, JK. So we, uh, saw, saw helped me wrap that. He does our wraps. So we gave it the Mac Ray look with the, the bright green for Axial Fest. So it's probably about a $2,000 rig there, it's just a roller, but it has full VP parts, RC four-wheel drive king shots, it's all got all my custom Smitty Wheel parts, we've got the 3D printed metal, stainless steel metal front bumper, all nylon running gear, uh, rotor packs, uh, we've got the Magnaflow rear exhaust, we've got the KMC VP wheels, things are ridiculous, like there isn't a thing on it, we've got the rear lights, the front lights, the four-wheel drive winch, I made some custom front uh, D shackles. It's the whole nine. Yeah, so somebody's gonna be happy. Right? Yeah, so whoever gonna wins that is gonna have to grab it and run. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna get chased. They're gonna have he's a gonna mob get, after him. Yeah, he's gonna hire some security. I know that even when I grew up, my cousins are Guaranteed. 
Well, these are all the parts people are after, man. Josh, right. one of the things that everyone's always surprised at is our 3D printed metal. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that, actually. Right, so everyone asks, like, can you 3D print stainless This is 3D printed stainless steel. Everything we do is on industrial grade printers. They're not hobby printers, they're $100,000 plus, plus printers. And Shapeways have the access to these industrial printers that do 3D printed stainless steel. So it's a stainless steel bronze alloy, it's a two step industrial process. They take the stainless steel dust, they bond it together layer by layer to make the form. They then basically put it in an oven and they, uh, they wick, wick it with bronze and it alloys to a bronze stainless uh, part. Then it's uh, tumbled, uh, you know, finished off and then it's uh, given a matte black finish. And this is a finished metal part. You go out bash it, we have Mike Duncan running our Schmitty built version. He did the six hour fix with it. He's had it probably for about a year now and he's, he's managed just to slightly bend the, uh, the D-shackle mount. So we, we stand behind our parts. We're really proud of them and uh, it's kind of crazy. The, the other one which is, these are the big bumpers, but the technology, so we work with Paul Powell and their new bug out rack. This is new for the show. So bug out rack, this is a, there's a full size rack racking system here ties onto your spare tire and everyone loves the pull power but it's big right but we do a um, a fixed version and Max himself and pull power rate this at 40 static pounds because we put 40 pounds off it hung it from the rafter didn't bend didn't break didn't didn't tweak at all and then we have a folding version so this thing is crazy right because they're big they fold down we have a little holster for it it got a little broken in the show so I've been doing this demo a few times but that's a prototype we'll fix it folds out do my QVC hands here. Yeah. There you go. If you don't know what it is, a land anchor, right? You throw it in the dirt, behind the rock, you get yourself an anchor point, pull with the winch. I use this in a 12-hour fix. It got me over the winching obstacle every time for 12 hours. So we're a big fan of Paul Powell. It's a super scale accessory. Isn't it? Warm it up, Jaxie. You don't turn the fans on yet. You can start it first. This is the start. Just push it there, okay? JK, so that's the white tickets, right? And then we've got some runner-up prizes if you didn't win the JK, yeah. right? Thank On the you. white tickets. We'll do the JK first, then a couple of runner-up prizes, right? Then we're gonna do the Yeti, that's the yellow tickets. We'll do the Yeti first, if you win that. If you don't win that, then there's a couple of runner-up prizes, okay? And then after that, we've got Jay from Saw in the back. Jay's a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> and so Jay had a raffle going on. We collaborated on a few things. And if you've got tickets for Jay's raffle, then we're going to do that next, okay? Oh, hey, Judd. Here he is. Here's Judd. All right. Woo! Axio! Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't think anyone was going to do anything. I burned up my shift so I have to shift the yeah, fam. Yeah. We're getting everybody's worn out faces. Everybody's all tired. Shut it down. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping to catch somebody dozing off here. <laughs> Who's going to win this? I got the ticket right yeah, here. Right here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to see who's got hey, that gold ticket. Go yeah, you want to go trail on your truck later? It's right there. Is that it? Say so what's up, man. You ain't there. Say so what's up. Jesus. <laughs> you want to say what's up, too? Sup. Sup, fam. Sup, bro. Sup, bro. Is that going on YouTube? It might. My, it was my dad's, and then it became mine, so. Oh, it just became yours? I think you stole it so, from him, didn't yeah. you? And then, yeah. Let's take a look turn, here. 20 turn. Uh, I'm running 18,000 million. And then HPI Wheelie King battery box. Okay. Stock servo, stock nerf bars, a little bit of modifications here and there. Yeah, yeah. Hold the ESC over there. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. And it's holding up good? Oh, yeah. Nice and tough? Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks like your body's seen some better days, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Original body. Yeah. Keep it, man. Give the official go. Five turns. 529. I'm gonna wait. We got one minute. One minute. One minute. I can these are double minutes. This last five minutes. There it is! Oh! Alright, right, who's excited? Yeah. One seventy three, and this man he bought a few tickets. <laughs> My name is Lucas Homan, I'm from San Diego, about nine hours away. Uh, I represent San Diego Scalers, a uh, pretty large group down there. Um, super stoked to win this, uh, definitely excited and definitely glad I put almost all my money in that raffle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for being here. And Thankful for winning this. Thank you. Now my my big question is, you gonna drive it? Oh hell yeah, right now. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Customs about. Customs hat of your choice. Zero one six zero zero five. Hey man, congratulations. Let's just check that ticket, Chris. Yeah. Zero one six zero zero five. All legit. All legit. Awesome. So you get to pick your color. Any choice, just one. Oh, there you go. Awesome. There it is. Yeah, man. Okay. Are you we'll good? figure out your size. I think Jay, we can. We have different sizes. Yeah. All right. We got zero one six two two nine. There we go. There he is, Corey. Fifty one fifty production. Nice. Good job, Corey. Thank you. Thank you. All right, buddy. How you, how you doing, man? So. That good? Did you have a preference of hat? Did you have a preference of hat? There you go. All right. All right. There you go. All right, Cole, Cole. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah. Let's check it, Dalton. Let's no, check no, it. Let's check no. it. Oh, come Yo, on. No scamming, Dalton. I know you. We gotta check it. <laughs> One six five nine two. You got it, buddy. You're so Josh. Just remember, yeah, Dalton. Yeah. Here there you go. go. All right. Boom. Congratulations, man. Done deal. Thank you. All right, you got it, Dalton. Thanks. Yeah, that's what's up, John. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. About time I won something. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was quick. That was good. All right, you guys ready? Nine, three, three, Whoever's two, cooking, three, four. Whoever's cooking, getting on my good four. side, real quick. It's not good. There it is. James, drop the name. Just double check. Nine, three, three, two, three, four. 
Thank you, Josh, for being official. There we awesome. go, James. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Josh, yeah. I'm not send you a <laughs> no way, dude. All right, so I'm gonna need your name, where you're from, who you represent, and just tell me how you're feeling, man. James Skiles, winner, California. All right, nine. Uh, three, with Duke three, County Scalers today. Zero, five, five. I'm feeling awesome, man. Sorry for the cussing. <laughs> <laughs> this is badass, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. I know. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Let's, let's do this little swap real quick. All right, here we go. Nine, three, three. Three, two, five, seven. Nine, three, three, two, five, seven. We got a winner. All right, winner. Let's just check that. There we go. That looks good. There it is. Congratulations, oh. Spencer. Spencer. There you go, Spencer. There you go. Congratulations, you Spencer. Garage, Spencer. Come on over here, real quick, right, Spencer. Well, you know, you can talk to Sean. He'll build you one. All right, going back right over there. I want to get. I want to get a little video with you. That thing's pretty slick. All right, you gotta tell me your name, where you're from, who you represent, and just show me that thing, and then definitely tell me how you're feeling. Name Spencer Bell. I'm from Anaheim, and I don't. Re I just represent myself. You just repping yourself? Yep. All right. Well, let me see what you want, man. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. How's it holding up? Woohoo! Dropping hammer over here. He's not afraid to. Definitely not afraid to. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He got, he's got some practice. <laughs> Nice and slow. Nice. To your right, to your right, to your right. Oh. If you can get that driver's side to grab, you're up. There it is. There, there you go. Keep it easy, keep it easy. There you go. Proper driving, proper driving. <laughs>
start with. Woo! Let it drop over. Oh man. Oh, no! If you run down there, you can't have this first Right here. You want me to shit? I'm just joking. Yeah. No, open more. Open more? Yeah, take a look. Right here? Yeah, you need to step over here so you can see down there. It's all about that perspective. Yeah. It's hardcore. There you go. Oh, easy, easy. What? I was turning into it. No, you, you were turning into that hole. You were turning into that hole. That hole's not what we're talking about. He says, yeah, that hole's not your friend. Not in this case. <laughs> oh, my God. No one saw that. No one saw it. The camera wasn't on. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Let them tires work. Nice, nice. Keep it that way, keep it steady, keep it steady. And don't turn the other way, whatever you do. Oh, oh man. That little hop through you. So close, dude. It's like deja vu. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> I'm going back to camp with, um, what's his name? Dan. Dan. Okay. My fat head in the sunlight again. There it is.
you guys. It's the last day. It's about seven o'clock right now. I'm heading up to the award ceremony. I just finished eating some food, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I was about to about to fall over, man. I was really not feeling it just a little bit ago. So we're heading up to the pavilion area, um, actually just outside the pavilion, and we're gonna go see what's going down with the award ceremony. I'm gonna try to document this the best I can. And I don't know, I mean, this has been, all in all, this has been a crazy experience, man. This year has been extremely, extremely taxing on me physically for some reason. And I'm not sure if that's just because I'm out of shape or getting old or what, but I feel like I ran more than I did last year, and last year I didn't have the scooter, so I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, but the people have been amazing this year. I am so blessed to have met all of my fans out here, all of my subscribers. I met so many people that watch my videos. I got to hang out with all of my old friends. I got to see some amazing, like, new people that I had. I met, you know, Super Shafty. I met just so many people. Chris DeGraff of, you know, Hemi Storm. You know, I, I, I've never met the guy before. Got to meet him. I met a ton of people this year and I, I like so many I can't put it into words uh, I hear people screaming and yelling already so it should be interesting uh, it's a little after seven I'm a little behind schedule but I, I'm just be how you guys doing and so I'm gonna be going up there to see what I can catch on camera before the Sun goes down we're getting low on light and I am low on cameras I'm down to using my old vlogging camera here which is definitely changing stuff. What's going down, guys? So, we're gonna head up there right now and see what kind of action we can catch. Let's do this. All right, you guys, we made it. Let's get up there and see what's going down. All right, you ready for this? All right, I'm gonna get up there. Give a shot right here. I'd just like to thank everybody out Let's here. You know, Action fast. Not all you guys. It's a bit awesome. Shot. Yeah, I'm going to stand by you for a second. Now I'm going to I got uh, you back. All right. Big talk. <laughs> I got to start off by thinking the action. You guys put on a uh, stellar event, man. So congrats to you guys. scalers that are under 12 to come up we're gonna give them a ticket and then we're gonna give them that scaler right there rtr ready to run brand new out of the box custom built trailer we're loaded with spc got a dirt bike on the back what do you think of this event so far this is awesome dude this is what this was tickles this week my whole weekend thank you so much for doing this man yeah that's what it's all about brother can i see your ticket oh. <laughs> From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, 
it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. Lived out their lives.